We're going to be continuing our um, tutorials on accesses and mutators. So in the previous video we saw what accesses were, also known as getters. Now we're going to be moving on to mutators, also known as setters. So a mutator method is used to set a value of a private field. It follows a naming scheme prefixing the word set to the start of the method name. So here we have some examples, or three examples of mutators. As you can see they're all public methods and they also have void in them. Now void basically means that the method isn't going to be returning anything, it's not returning a value. Then we have the name of the method, of the mutator method, so set as a prefix and it, then it's called name in this case. Then we have the uh, parameter of our method, so we're going to be inputting a string type var um, variable called the name. And then as an instruction uh, in our method, this is something we haven't seen, we have a keyword called this. So within an instance, instance method or constructor, this is a reference to the current object. So you can refer to any member of the current object from within an instance method or a constructor by using this. So in our case, uh, this basically means we're using uh, or we're in uh, the object dog, uh, which we've been using as an example up until now. So this instruction basically means that the um, the variable name of our object dog is going to be replaced by what we input as a parameter here, name. So the variable, the value of the variable name of our class or object dog will be replaced by the value of our parameter uh, variable name. And then the same principle for uh, the color and age. So don't worry if it's not too clear for you yet, in the next step we're going to be trying a practical example, so um, uh, meet me in the next step. So as you can see we're back in our class dog here, um, we still have our getters that we used in the previous video, we'll still be using them in this one, uh, you'll see why. So let's add our setters or mutators just for clarity again add a comment setters like so and then uh, let's add our mutator so uh, remember mutator method is always public it's always void because it's not returning anything it's not returning a value and let's give its name so uh, set dot name and then where it will be um, as a parameter, we'll be inputting a string type, string name, for example. <coughs> oh, sorry, open up in brackets, and then uh, this because we're working in the dog object or the class dog name, which is the um, <coughs> name of the field at the top here, name equals the parameter variable called name like so <clears throat> so basically um, the, the field name called name at the top here uh, will be replaced by the value of the um, of the parameter variable named uh, called name here um, we're not going to do the other two mutators, it's the same principle we could do for color and age, <coughs> but we're just going to use the name as, as an example. Um, so let's go to our main program here. So we're still working inside the default constructor. So just as a reminder, the default constructor has already default values. So for its name it's unknown, color unknown and age zero. These two don't interest us, we're just working with the name for our example here. <coughs> so um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create our object, our new object uh, dog1 here. So dog1 should have a default name uh, which is unknown as I just showed you previously, previously. so unknown, that's that's what its default name should be. We're going to use our setter, or our mutator, to uh, replace that default name 
by uh, what we want to input. So let's type dog1 dot um, the name of our setter, the method of our, um, excuse me, the name of our setter method or our mutator method, uh, which is at the bottom here, set name. Set name, and the input is a string input. So let's say uh, test, for example. So we're going to be replacing unknown by test using our mutator method. <clears throat> and to see if that works or not, we have to use our uh, our um, accessor methods or getter methods with the following um, instruction here that we used before in the previous video to see if that's the case. So let's run this. Okay. And as you can see, dog1 has a, a name of test instead of unknown. So that's how you use um, setters in uh, Java.